Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. Time for another Metal Earth build and this is one I've been setting on for a while. The Mustang. The 1965 Ford Mustang to be precise. I've been sitting on this kit for far too long. It's time I threw it together and see how it looks and how it goes. So let's open this up and see the inside. 65 Ford Mustang. have instructions and two metal sheets. Open this up. We have just the one sheet of instructions. It starts off as usual with the line drawing, a little section about insertion tabs and folds and insertion holes. The usual you know those pliers are helpful for assembly. And a bit about where your legend or key, as I call it, where you see a blue circle in the directions, it means to fold the tab. Green triangle means to twist the tab. And just a bit of information about pulling and twisting makes it more secure. And then we have the two different layouts of the two different sheets. There's this one. And not quite. There we go. And this gives the part numbers and points to where they are so that you can find them on the sheets. And then we go to the assembly flow chart, which is the second section. These are typically divided in quarters. Start with part one, part two, part three, and just kind of follow the arrows. And then once you've done this top quarter, you go to the bottom quarter, continue on. Then this quarter, continue on. Then we flip it over. Top quarter, top quarter, bottom quarter, bottom quarter, and then you're done with the kit. The tools that I'll use to build these kits, these are the basics, although it doesn't seem that basic. We have a fairly general set of tweezers. We have some other more specialty set of tweezers. A thinner set. I have one that has a very pointed end. This one also had a pointed end but I've ground it down just a little bit and it's great for grabbing just the tabs and tight areas. I have a couple of pliers here. One is a longer needle nose. One is a flat nose. These are smooth inside. There's no ridges so it doesn't damage any of the parts when you hold on to it. And a pair of clippers or flush cutters that are real good for clipping the parts out of the tree which is much easier and better than trying to twist and break them out. When it comes to shaping parts I have an assortment of different things to use. I have dowel rods that I've used for quite some time. A couple of them have had the ends sharpened with a pencil sharpener which are great for making cone shapes. I have an inexpensive drill bit set with a lot of different sized bits to help with forming cylinder shapes. I also have a couple of step mandrels. I'm not saying you need all of this, but these are different tools that I've acquired and I kind of go back and forth depending on the situation. Round nose pliers or ring pliers, as I've heard them called, can come in quite handy. These have rounded tips and you can use these to shape some of the more unusual or smaller areas that are hard to get with the big fingers like I have. Got our instructions, some metal sheets, and some tools. Let's put it together. The size of the car did not seem to match up with the size of the picture on the packaging. There's a thin strip that I believe should be bent in first, and the windows and the rear posts should then be bent up. 
The picture on the website seems to be constructed the same way, but the picture in the 360 view looks different. With the tail lights on, I have a better idea of how far to bend the trunk lid, so a few adjustments are in order. The sides with the tabs are at an odd angle. It is a good idea to bend the tabs so that they all point in the same direction towards the next connection so the tabs will line up with their slots.
I have found with little box type pieces like this, it helps to bend the tabs in a little to line it up with the other side and slots as it swings into place. The back dash was not pushed down far enough to fit the body on. I lightly twisted a couple of tabs when I was putting the body on to hold it down then went back afterwards and folded or pushed them over.
The tabs were so close together here that I used the tips of my pointed tweezers to wedge them apart. Make sure to pay attention to which way the license plate is when it is folded down and the word Mustang is right side up when you put part 29 on top of part 28. It took me 10 minutes to get 28 and 29 on the four tabs on the front. The tabs seemed to be spaced a little too far apart. I kept pushing in the little flaps on the front to bring them closer together, but I was running out of room. I finally convinced them all to go into place. I neglected to bend the end of the hood down. Easy to fix. I give you the 65 Ford Mustang, or at least Metal Earth's interpretation. I cannot say this is one of my favorite kits. It looks okay. Not quite up to the standard I would hope. It wasn't very difficult to build. The tail lights, the way they kind of poke out, it bothers me. I think perhaps the tail lights would sit a little better if the tabs were folded over and not twisted. The instructions say twist. I don't really want to go back and tinker with it to fold them over. I don't want to accidentally break them off bending them open. But I wonder if they would sit better if they were folded. Another thing, I missed the instructions. I missed where it said these seats. These tabs on the bottom of the seats weren't supposed to be twisted. They're supposed to be folded over. And I wondered, some of these twisted tabs are pushing out on the exhaust and drivetrain making it not want to sit flat. Now the instructions do say to twist the tabs holding the center console which would be in the way of letting that sit flat. I can't tell you if that's intentional or not if they actually wanted those tabs twisted to raise it up to give it more of a 3D look 
it's hard to say and you can't get a good picture underneath on the 360 view it just shows it straight on and you can't really tell so I wonder about that I wonder if those tabs would have been better flattened or folded instead of twisted if that would look better or if they twisted them to cause it to, to bulk out and kind of give it a 3D look I don't know and speaking of folding and twisting the tabs this front grill the last thing you put on the instructions do not say whether to fold or twist them but on the pictures on the packaging and on the website it shows twisting them I opted to fold them I thought it looked a little better than having this piece of metal twisted and poking out but that's just me I don't always follow what the directions say I have seen instances other instances where the directions will say twist or bend to do it this way and the pictures they've done it a different way so there are some inconsistencies that happen with these kits I can't say that I'm really fond of the doors being open either I mean it's kind of neat but I don't know now we'll end here by saying as always thank you for watching if you have any questions comments or requests leave them down below thank you and keep on keeping on